It's 25 minutes to 8 here in the west of Ireland. There's still a little bit of light. I've just come back in from a walk with Jack. And um, I want to show you something that I made as I was walking along. Okay, you big baby boy. As soon as I say Jack, he comes up and puts his big heavy head on my leg. So... <clears throat> So yeah, I was just walking down along the road and I thought, well, Jack's having a good sort of sniff around in the hedgerows. So I thought I'd walk nice and slowly. And of course, you know me, I always like to be doing something. Just throw my coat on the chair there. So, I started picking willow. And as I was walking along picking willow, I began weaving it into a wreath. Let me just put it down here where you can see it. <clears throat> okay. And this is it. So, I made this wreath out of willow. Didn't even bother taking the leaves off it. I was just, I'll just show you the back of it. So I was just twisting it into a wreath as I walked along and then on the way back up the road I decided to pick the seed heads of the meadow sweet and pop those into the wreath so it's now a beautiful well I think it's beautiful anyway willow and meadow sweet wreath just lovely for Samhain. So this is just to give you an idea of the kinds of things that you can be doing now in the run-up to Samhain because there's nothing to stop you making some beautiful natural decorations as an antidote to the plastic tat We've got to get away from the plastic tat. It's no good. It's destroying the earth. Now, I do have a certain amount of plastic here. Everyone knows that. But for me, plastic has a place. Um, like anything else, it has a place. It's just when it's sent into overdrive, making, making things out of plastic that is not necessary. So... There we go. A willow and meadow sweet wreath. So I'll just take you outside because as I was walking up the road I could hear um I think it was the blackbird that was singing. Let me just step outside and see what we can hear. There's a beautiful smell of wood smoke on the air because I have the stove and the lodge lit and that's making it lovely and cosy and warm in there. It's a lovely twilight, isn't it? Just walk around a little bit. I suppose back, back in the day, when I was a child, when I was a young woman growing up, I suppose, people used to make lots of different things, seasonal things. Because there just wasn't the amount of consumer tat around. And in the drive for consumerism, of course, we've lost that beautiful sense of what it's like to live within the seasons. I 
And of course, living within the seasons meant that outdoors, out from where you lived, was a whole supermarket mall of goodies, fruits, berries, nuts, wood, willow, leaves, mushrooms, just on and on and on. All the lovely stuff which we now long for, we hunger for. Look, there's a little bit of steam built up on the inside of the windows. Because it's colder out here than what it is in there. A sure sign of Samhain coming. So tomorrow is the last day of September. Mm, Tuesday. It's the first day of October. I think before the light fades, I shall go in and make myself a pot of coffee and put my coat back on and come back out. Look, there's the first real colouring of leaves on a tree. Blessings to you all. Have a beautiful evening wherever you are.